Good afternoon, welcome to Jim Mulney's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for September 13th to the 25th. We're going to start out talking about Hurricane Florence. It's a category four. Here's the current position. The winds are 140, 140 miles per hour with gusts 165, moving towards the west northwest at 13, and the pressure is 939 millibars. And we're going to take a look at the satellite picture. Here's the um, recent visible. You can see the eye clearly visible here, and it continues to improve. Good outflow. And using this map to show the relation to the United States. Um, here's North Carolina. So still a couple of days out, and um, Hurricane uh, Florence is forecast to track to the East Coast. Late in the week and over the weekend, weakening Florence is expected to be in the area of weak steering flow, and this may set up a potentially extreme rainfall event for portions of North Carolina and Virginia, as the inflow off the warm Gulf of, of off the Gulf Stream provides deep moisture. We're going to take a look at the models now. Here is the early cycle. Here's the late cycle. They're all generally into North Carolina. Here's the GFS ensembles. Can't really figure that out. Here's um, the late EPS. The dark red is the uh, official forecast. And here's the extra late EPS. But I think this is um, generally the consensus is towards the Carolina coast. Uh, heavy rain and flooding will be a threat for several days due to the combination of rare events with a stalled tropical system near the coast and inflow off the warm Gulf Stream and Gulf Atlantic. So um, now we're going to get to the forecast. This is for September 13th to the 17th. This is what we're forecasting here. Miles good agreement. We still have our strong. Still have our strong ridge here over um, the Bering Sea trough here, and a ridge across uh, the remainder of the nation. So uh, also enhanced rainfall expected for the for the western Gulf Coast due to a combination of possible tropical wave or upper weakness. Rain is also forecast for the northern plains to the Great Lakes. September 16th to the 20th. Here we are at the 16th. The models don't change very much. So I have our ridge here over the North Pacific, trough here, ridge across the remainder of the nation. Miles of good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for this region here. Forecast anomalies of four to six degrees below normal and above normal temperatures of forecast for the remainder of the nation with the anomalies of six to 12 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for um, is this the right? No, it's the period. Let me see if I can get the um, map. Okay, this is it. Below normal precipitation forecast for this region here. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent. And we have above normal precipitation forecast here. And for this region here, with the probability of 45 percent. Now, the period for September 21st to the 24th. Here we are at the 24th. Um, the flat, the, the pattern across the uh, Pacific will retrograde some. This ridge will slide off and weaken, and then we'll have a trough over the western, uh, over the eastern Pacific, and then we'll have a tendency for a trough here over in the east, and I'll show you that. As we go through the days, you see the tendency for a trough here. This is GFS. Flow starts to buckle some. Some of the models show up more so here. This is its ensembles. 
and here is the European, and then we have the NEFS. So I think that's how it's going to be. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for this region here and portions of the northwest. Uh, forecasting numbers of 2 to 4 degrees are possible. And above normal temperatures are forecast for this region here. And the forecast anomalies of 2 to 8 degrees above normal are forecast. And for precipitation, never got the maps right. Below normal precipitation is forecast here. Probability of occurrence 35 to 45 percent. And then we still have above normal precipitation for this region here. And the probability of occurrence is 45 percent. So again, with Florence, here's the current position. It's a category four winds of 140 miles per hour, gusts 165. And <clears throat> we'll go to the, uh, to the satellite picture again. I think the eye is about 10 nautical miles. It's a, it's a good eye, clear eye. So that's it for today. Have, have a good day and we'll check on this again tomorrow.